today on our 2019 Chevrolet Colorado, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Class 3 2-inch Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver. This is what it looks like installed. As you can see, it sits nice and tucked back in there and looks pretty good. The receiver opening is pretty much flush with the rear bumper and overall just has a nice look. Now with the hitch installed on your Colorado, you're going to be able to use it to pull trailers, boats, jet skis, whatever you might have, or you can even use it for things like bike racks or cargo carriers. This is a class 3 hitch, so we're going to have a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. It's going to have a nice thick reinforced collar. It's going to accept a standard size 5 8 hitch pen. Now this doesn't come included with the hitch but you can find it on eTrailer.com. It does have a plate style safety chain opening. Now keep in mind with our pen installed, we do lose a little bit of space here, but it should be ample enough room to use just about any size safety chain. Now our hitch has a maximum tongue rating of 800 pounds, and that's the amount of weight on the receiver tube. It has a maximum trailer weight rating of 8,000 pounds. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything on it. Now it can be used with weight distribution systems, which are a separate component, but if you do use that, your maximum tongue weight goes up to 1,000 pounds, and your maximum trailer weight goes up to 10,000 pounds. However, keep in mind, you do want to check your Colorado's owner's manual to make sure your truck can pull that much weight. Now I'd like to give you a few measurements that will help you in deciding for accessories for your new hitch such as a ball mount, bike rack, or even a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's going to be right about two and a quarter inches. Keep that measurement in mind when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have the clearance and you're not going to come in contact with the bumper. Now from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be right at about 19 and three quarters of an inch. That measurement is going to come in handy when you're looking for a ball mount to find the appropriate riser drop for your trailer. Now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we went ahead and removed the spare tire out of the way. That will give us a little more room to work. With the spare tire out of the way, now we can remove this bracket. It's held in place by four 13 millimeter bolts. All right, our next step is going to be to remove this tube. Now, the bolts that hold this tube in place also hold our bumper in place. So to avoid our bumper falling off or having to remove it completely, we've actually held it up with some pole jacks on each side. Now, if you're at home and don't have a lift like we do, jack stands would work just fine. Another thing that we did to help keep the bumper in place is we used some straps, secured them to the bumper, and then back here to the rear end, or you can use the spot on your frame, or anything that works good for you. Pull it tight, and that'll help pull the bumper against the truck so it doesn't fall down. Now before we remove any more bolts on the driver's side, there is some wiring that is attached to this bumper support. So we'll just take a screwdriver and pop that out. That way we don't damage it when we remove it. Now on each side of the truck towards the outside, there will be two 21 millimeter bolts. We'll go ahead and remove those. I'll do the exact same thing to the other side. Now with all four of the side bolts removed, we can focus on the ones on the bottom. Now there'll be two on each side, and a good trick is to remove one entirely, and then just loosen the other one, that way we can gradually lower the bumper support. We're gonna do that to each side of the truck. Now with an extra set of hands, I'm gonna fully take out the ones that we left loose and lower down this bumper support. I can pretty easy. There it goes. So before we put our hitch up, there's something I just want to point out. On the side of the hitch, there's a plate 
Well, that plate is going to fit in between this bumper support and the frame rail itself. So it'll slide up here in this seam, and that's where it'll go. And now with the next set of hands, we're gonna go ahead and install our new hitch using the factory hardware that we removed. And this will actually bolt into the same bolt holes that we took the bolts off from earlier. Now that we've got all our hardware holding our hitch up, we can go ahead and tighten everything down. All right, now with all the bolts tightened down, we can use a torque wrench to torque them down to the specification, which is found in your instructions. Now with everything torqued down, we can go ahead and remove our straps and remove our jacks. Now it's kind of up to you, but since we don't have a spot to secure our wire to, since we removed the bumper support, you can take a zip tie, run it along that wire, and secure it that way. Now to completely wrap up our install, you'd simply put your spare tire back up. Now for video purposes, we're gonna skip that step, but you can rest assured it does fit correctly. And that'll finish up our look and install of the class three two inch Kurt trailer hitch receiver on our 2019 Chevrolet Colorado.